Hey guys, Boris Lasberg from BK. Great to be with you. Just completed a week of our free trial for the first time ever. It's been a super week. We had a really great time uh, trading um, in the uh, uh, BK service as well as giving two really good webinars. And what I want to re reprise here basically is one of the setups that I showed in the webinar on Wednesday that I then actually traded live uh, on the webinar on Friday after the NFPs. Most of you are familiar with my RSI roller coaster uh, setup, which is basically a setup where you pick tops and pick bottoms by looking at the peak momentum in the RSI. So momentum peaks out somewhere around 70, and after after it breaks the the, uh, the peak, you would go short. Conversely, when it peaks um, out as far as downside momentum, you would, you would turn it around, <clears throat> and it breaks above the 30, you'd be a buyer. Um, that's a great setup. It works well. But honestly, one of the interesting things about you, me, as you know, is I'm primarily a flow trader. I like to go with the price instead of trying to pick tops and bottoms. I find that to be a much more uh, profitable and valuable uh, methodology of trading, especially the FX market. So I was fooling around actually with the RSI roller coaster and I flipped it on its side and I said, I flipped it on its head actually and I said, you know, what if I kind of reverse the idea? What if the break of the 70 actually constitutes a really interesting buy opportunity? What if a break of the 30 actually constitute a really interesting sell opportunity. Does that really work? And it turns out that it actually works really, really well. I named the setup the RSI bungee jump because <clears throat> that's effectively what it is. You are kind of left out there jumping off the highest point or diving off the deepest, uh, lowest point at a time when most people think, oh, things are way overbought and things are way oversold. In fact, as you well know, in the FX market, uh, things can get much more overbought and things get much more oversold. And in, in that particular slice of trading is where a lot of the opportunity lies. So this is basically the uh, RSI bungee jump. And, you know, the, the pure methodology of this is you, you buy once the, this is the, uh, this is the hourly candles, right? So let me just, uh, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. You guys can see this on a more zoomed in basis. So these are hourly candles. Let me see if I can pop up the, uh, uh, the display data so you can see so this particular candle here is 27 it's below 30 right so you'll be a seller uh, below 30 uh, the stops are essentially very similar to the stops that I use in my flow setup which is 50 stop 30 target the idea here is you want to be at 65 percent accuracy or 70 70 percent accuracy to uh, to really make the uh, setup worthwhile um, as you can see it actually is uh, performance I was actually shocked at how well it performed it, it performed in the euro at 80% accuracy in the month of February. So uh, far in excess of what you need to do in order to become profitable. But anyways, uh, the pure setup is you break the uh, the 30 or you break the 70. The more modified setup is uh, to give yourself a little bit of a leg up on the um, on the trade is you can enter when it's, um, when you can, you can enter long when it's 65 or higher. So any anytime when it's 65.01 or 6.02, you can enter one candle early. And you could enter when it's 35 or lower. So if it's 34, um, uh, excuse me, 36 or lower. Uh, so there would be like you know 35, 90, and you you could you could come in on, um, on that price as well. So that gives you just maybe sometimes an hour ahead of time on the entry price, and sometimes it does put you in a better position. It does make you take more trades, and that of course can also trigger uh, more stopouts because the more trades you take, the the, uh, the less likely you're going to be accurate. But irrespective. I think both setups work quite well. This is the general structure of it as always. I offer structure and it's up to you then to decide how you want to use it. Um, I actually do like the whole idea of, of front running the trade where you go into the 65s and higher or into the 35s or lower on the short and long side. So let me show you a couple of real life uh, examples of this. So this is Euro dollar. There's actually a couple of trades here. It's, it's kind of, you know, this is my, this is my, uh, uh, experimental accounts. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, but here's one that's a classic where you sell the uh, the 30s in the euro dollar. It's it's a positive trade over here. Um, here's me just screwing around with trading. Um, this was a flow trade, so we could ignore that. Here's one where you 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 buy the uh, the 70 breakout, and this worked out very very well. But the trade that we did on Friday during the NFP Friday um, worked very well, and this was this was a this was this particular setup, the RSI bungee jump, <clears throat> in combination with um, uh, excuse me, in combination with uh, the fundamentals that I thought were very important at that time that really kind of worked quite well for, uh, for the yen at that point. The idea being is that we had better than expected NFPs. That created obviously very pro-dollar moves across the board, but in the pro, I felt that in the pro-yen move, it really had a strong potential for further extension because 
Uh, that meant that the Fed is unlikely to go into QE3. That meant that U.S. rates are probably going to go up. And that probably meant that there's going to be some support for dollar yen. So dollar yen breaks out and ends above um, the 70 line here. We went long 82.30. Um, and I just blew out of the uh, trade at 82.52, but you could have had a little bit more in the trade. Some people actually took out the full 30 points. I was just, it was the end of the weekend, so um, I was kind of tired. I didn't want to spend any more time on the screen. But as you can see, this was one, two, three, four hours, and it actually had very little slippage, and the trade worked out beautifully on this RSI bungee jump. Um, sometimes when you use it with fundamentals, it actually works uh, super well because it's basically what it's doing is it's showing you the intensity of the market. Uh, due to some fundamental catalyst and typically when you have that kind of intensity on a quantitative side it's going to have further follow through on a qualitative side so I hope you guys enjoyed this this is the RSI bungee jump uh, setup it's going to be a part of my repertoire for sure I hope it's going to become part of your repertoire I wish you guys the best of luck and the best of trading come trade with us at bkforexadvisors.com Boris Schlossberg over and out